Hey guys, we got a short message here with uh, David Wilkerson. I'm not going to play it all, but uh, it's the things that we do need to hear about. We know we're in the last times here, you guys, and we know also you must be born again. Okay, in other words, you, you can't still be tied to this world. The reason why we've been seeing what we've been seeing, and uh, a lot of us have been had our eyes opened and uh, to know what the truth is. And you know we've met a lot of people that say it seems like it, it looks like it, but they're just not coming out of it because of the love of the world. And uh, we know scripture says, love not the world nor the things that are in it, that this will cause you um, to be blind, to not receive the truth. What the prophet Isaiah is saying, it's not my message. Now, if you're tied to this world, if you're in love with the things of this world, then you are not walking with the Lord. You're not wanting to hear, you will not want to hear this, and you may want to just cast it aside and say, well, I'll endure this message. It, 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 and even if you are a born-again Christian, if you love the Lord and you're close to Him, if you didn't believe that this is the pure Word of God, there may be a tendency not to take it serious. But this is the Word of God. It is not man's prophecy. There are a lot of prophecies going forth in the world, and, and they are... Uh, I don't know whether you would call them scripturally based or not, but this is scripture. This is the living word of God. And if you believe this is the pure word of God, then you have to open your heart to what the prophet Isaiah has to say this morning. In one hour, the world is going to change, the scripture says. In fact, when you get to Revelation 8, chapter, John warned in one day, death and mourning, yea, in one hour, an utter burning, and judgment will come. That's the 18th chapter of Revelation. And it confirms that this is going to happen. Jesus said it's going to be when all men cry peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes. A sudden, unexpected destruction comes from the hand of the Lord. Isaiah warns that there, he mentions a city. In fact, a number of prophets do, but most uh, eminent Bible scholars, and I've checked through my library, and they believe, as I do, that this prophecy that we're hearing this morning from Isaiah is, at, is, is directed to this generation. And in just a moment, I'll enlarge on that and tell you why I believe we can pinpoint it into our very generation, our time. In one day, in one hour, and he says at that time, there, there was going to be a great burning. Now, secular prophets and those in homeland security, whether it's in the United States or England or Germany, all over the world now, they, they are saying that, that there is going to come a nuclear accident or a nuclear holocaust coming to a city. They often name New York City. You, you, you know what's happened here. We lived through the 9-11 experience. And you could look out of the apartments as we are, and you could see the burning and see the fire and the smoke ascending to heaven. And a few weeks ago, remember the eruption of the steam pipe and uh, the earth opened up and swallowed a truck and you saw pictures of people running everywhere and they're screaming, is this it, is this it? They're thinking nuclear. And the scripture says, that when you go through Isaiah, the 24th chapter, it, it says that the gates are going to be dissolved. The gates are going to be uh, devastated. That means the exits and entrances. We don't know where it is. The city is named and a burning and a fire is mentioned here. I've been prophesying for a number of years that uh, of something I saw when I was on the street in, in, on uh, Broadway and 42nd Street and it's come back to me many, many times of a thousand bur fires burning in this particular city we, in which we live. But you see, I don't know where it is. He doesn't name the city, but he does say that there, there, there is going to be a sudden destruction that's going to change everything. The world is going to change in one hour. The church is going to change in one hour. And we as individuals are going to change in one hour. Now, this message is not to frighten. Yeah, that's not to frighten anybody. But... That one guy in Iran, he said that he was appointed to do something to cause chaos in the world. And I've always said this. 
he they were behind all this chaos and stuff going on and uh just laughing at people because they would pay terrorists to be terrorists and uh America's even been involved in this stuff too, you guys. We, it's all, you know, that's why it says you don't beget evil with evil. And uh, anyhow, if you look at that guy's name, the president of Iran, look at it backwards. And it looks just like in an hour. In an hour. God's in control of everything. Just like you have, you have the name Obama Nation. Trump Pence. You know, Trump Pence are being sounded. The abomination in an hour. You know, these are not coincidences, you guys. These are uh, these are sure signs. God's in control here, you guys. It's not what people think. Lean not into your own understanding. God's in control, and he's going to do everything that's written in that Bible. Every bit of it, you know. Every bit of it. But it'd be strong in the Lord, man. It's not about having fear. It's about knowing the truth, man. The truth will set you free. Once you know who he is and he is in control, you know, you can't please God without faith. And let me tell you something. Everything that's out there, you can see it clearly. You should have no reservations. Because if, if you're confident that you're saved and under the blood of Christ and redeemed, you know that anything like this happens is instant glory. We pass from life into death. And like the Apostle Paul said, we should be of this mindset that we thank God for this world. We thank God for our life. But our preference is to go and be with Christ. Yes. That should be the desire in your heart. The scripture said the fear of death is a dominion. It's a terror. And Paul said you fear all your Everybody's life that way. He said... God says he doesn't want to live that way. He wants to deliver us from the fear of death. Eternal and if life. If we lose the fear of death through trusting in Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit, we will not fear, no matter what happens, what the newscast is, what anybody says, or a message such as this. You, you will only be moved to awaken to what the, the Lord says to do. And but let me not get ahead of myself here. It's easy to do. We don't know where this is going to happen. First of all, the hour is going to come when the whole world is going to change. Now, eminent Bible scholars believe that chapter 24 and 25 of Isaiah have to do with our time this very day. A sudden cataclysmic event is going to strike, and the Bible says, Isaiah says, the lofty, this is 26 verse 5, the lofty, meaning the proud city, will be laid low even to the ground. Bible, then, according to the prophet, there is utter chaos. I was showing Folks, America, you, you guys, nuked big this time. this Sunday afternoon, go right outside the door on a sunny day, and say, how could it happen that in one hour there could be such confusion where government can't do anything about it societal agencies can't do anything about it because you know a lot of people put their faith and trust in this nation and that's why i've been telling you guys if you look at where the bible clearly says he's coming down with his indignation a fervent heat and to dissolve and destroy this place then if you look at what what is the government telling you you have an ozone problem they're not telling you what the Word of God says. And a lot of the churches aren't even saying it. I think a lot of the pulpits have been hijacked or people have just got strong delusion in the pulpit. We got homosexuals in the pulpit, lesbians. Uh, it's just everything's upside down, you guys. And uh, if you truly believed in the written Word of God and you listen to what they're saying about the ozone problems and everything, man, how could you continue listening to what they're saying? You know, how can you continue believing in them? You know, you should be 100% uh, leaning and acknowledging God in everything right now. Even the names, everything's in place. The president of Iran, his name backwards is in an hour. Uh, Obama nation, Obama nation. You know, he was president in a nation, Obama nation. Trump, Pence. Say it in one word, trumpets. 
You know, I mean, you don't make these things up. God does. He's the potter, the creator. And everybody's wondering when Trump was elected, who's going to be your vice president? Well, I haven't decided yet. Well, God did. Okay. These aren't coincidences. And these people have no idea, you know, but it's there for the wise to see. Daniel's 12.10 says the wicked will continue to do wicked. None of the wicked will understand, but the wise will. Okay. This is where those who are going to be born again, changed in a twinkling of the eye, those are the ones that are going to be wise. Those are going to be the ones that believe in what the word of God says. They're not leaning into man. Go buy from those that are selling, you know, that are telling you what you want to hear. See, that's what's going on. A lot of that is going on. I see it even on YouTube. People having itchy ears, you know. Rapture any moment, man. We're going to be gone any moment. But they're not warning you what the Bible warns you about, what the Word of God warns you about. They're not even warning you about deceivers on YouTube. Nothing. You know? You guys, listen. Satan will come as an angel of light. And uh, most people are going to uh, be deceived. And like it says, if you, and even his disciples will come as an angel of light. These are spirits. And they're going to be in people. People that you're probably going to sit there and go, man, they sound so lovely. Oh, they have such a nice family. Oh, they're, the, they're all this, you know. They're going to be thinking all the right things about them. But are they saying the right things? You know? You guys, I'm seeing it even on YouTube right now where these people having itchy ears are being told what they want to hear. And I'm going to tell you something else. There's a lot of spirits that are hosting a lot of bodies here. Remember the fallen, all those that followed uh, Satan, they're cast down here on the earth, man. They're in a lot of people, man. There's herds of them here. And a lot of these people are going to be flocked to these channels. They're going to be getting other people to flock to them. And they're all going to be buddy buddies with one another. You know, these are the things that you have to be watching out for. You know, there's a reason why it's written. And we see prophecy being fulfilled right now. All of it. It's all being fulfilled. And are these people warning you that are telling you what you want to hear? You know, and I know this ain't most people on this channel. But you guys, like I said, I'll say what I have to say to get the truth out there. And... If people leave this unsub from this, the way I look at it, they weren't meant to get it anyhow. They weren't meant to get it anyhow. You know? <clears throat> okay, you guys. So with that being said, I'm going to cut this off because it takes a while for this to load up. Struck this city. They came from all over the world. They poured in from all the United States. Firemen, police officers, and helpers. And uh, there was... Uh, armies of people wanting to help but why live on any kind of anxiety why put this burden upon us be anxious but for remember nothing what jesus said when he first saw the destruction of jerusalem he said there's going to be a, this city is going to burn to the ground and he said i'm telling you now so that when it happens you believe you'll believe that there is a god who so loved you he warns you and, and he, he said that, that there's going this 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 city is going to the ground and there won't be one stone left upon another in the temple and jesus warned he said no, i'm warning you for a reason so that when it happens when you see these things come out you will understand that you were loved it and paul the apostle when he's talking about the sudden destruction he called that information light he said you're members of the body walking in light you're getting holy ghost insight he said, you're not in the darkness. You will walk in darkness. So that when these sudden things come, and, and there's panic all around you, there's going to be something happen to you by the Holy Spirit. There's going to be... Not only that, you guys, you should be feeling it right now. And just the things that you're seeing, that he's opened your eyes to see, that so many other people can't see, you know? And a lot of these people on YouTube saying this and that, you know, they're not even talking about the things that the Holy Spirit has revealed to you already. All they keep saying is just rapture, rapture, rapture. That's all they keep telling you, that you're going to be raptured any moment, you know. And I'm telling you, you got to be very careful with these things. 
Lean not into your own understanding. Don't lean into theirs either. Read the Holy Scriptures. These people, like David Wilkerson saying here, read the Holy Scriptures. Are they warning you what they, what Christ was trying to warn you about? Are they? No. The devil's not going to do that because then, you know, look at our government, you guys. Look at how many people lean and believe. That's why I'm saying it's important to expose it, to point it out and expose it. Tell people what it really is, you know. It's not an ozone problem. It's a sin problem. You know, we see it. We clearly see it. God's in control, you guys. If this is going to get out, it's going to have to get out by people like us that are pointing out the truth. It's right there to be seen. You can't deny it. You know, it's just people don't, aren't, you know, you got to be telling people about it. If you're not telling people, how will they receive it? How will they know? You know, how will they know? And then even though some people you tell them, they still can't receive it because the world chokes it out. They want to believe too much in what man says. Scripture tells you perfectly what's going on. Anyhow, you guys, God bless you. I love y'all. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.